I swear, the more independent and successful a woman is, the worse her dating life is because of agency. Fork agency. It is not giving men agency to sit back and watch and wait and see what they do. That is not giving away your agency. So many women, myself included, thought that being, you know, a single independent woman, I make decisions for myself. I'm used to getting stuff done. We get stuff done. We're not, you, and, and, and now, especially those of us who are just so used to taking care of ourselves and have never had a man take care of us in our lives, it's weird to just sit back and relax and not be the person who is doing the things. And that was the hardest thing for me to unlearn when I started dating in a serious way and in a healthy way was to stop being the boss, stop making things happen, stop, you know, you know, come on, yeah. that's, not, that's not helpful. That's not going to work. In fact, you are going to end up with a hobo schedule, a man who's going to exploit you that, or knock you down a peg. Most women who are like me, who are super independent and make our own money and do our own things and have never relied on men, the kinds of terrible relationships women like us end up in is not the ones that we've been told are abusive relationships where the men control all the money and the men, da, 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 da. no. With us, it's usually we end up with a bunch of Peter Pans, hobo schedule, parasites, lazy dudes who don't want to do anything. And they love that we are independent women. I mean, that is one of the craziest things is that like there was a, I forget, it's on Netflix. There was a woman who was like a heavyweight lifting champion and even she got in an abusive relationship. Why? Because a lot of times the stronger, the more independent, the more self-reliant we are, the less we expect of men and the less we make them do stuff that they need to be doing. And here's the thing. I, I'm never going to give men control of anything. But when you approach dating like the boss bitch that you are, you're going to get played. If you're the one who's just like, let's get this done. Come on. What do you want? Nah. You will get played because I'm sorry. I don't want to be, I don't want to play follow the leader. I don't want to follow anybody. And I don't want to be the leader either. I want a partner. I know I can take care of myself. But what I need to know, especially a lot of women who like me need to know is that he can take care of himself. Because a lot of these men don't ever want to grow up. They literally want to have a second childhood. And that's why they get married. I am a leader. I was literally a professional leader in the outdoors, outward bound, raft guide, you know, climbing, canoeing, sea kayaking, all that crap. I am a leader by nature. I was a teacher too. I'm a writing coach still. I have teaching and leadership runs in my family. I'm, I come from a long line of strong women. And the men who have exploited us are not the traditional you know, abusers and exploiters. They're the dudes who are perfectly fine with us making more money and us doing everything. I'm not interested in that. That's exactly how I ended up in an abusive relationship with a hobo schedule who rode the rails and didn't even have a driver's license or a social security card or a home. He had a hammock. And so women like us have to sit back and be patient. I, I realize I'm not doing anything. I'm letting them do everything. I will match their energy, but I'm not, I am not leading this relationship. And if he is not interested and doesn't seem eager to be hanging out with me, then a bye bye agency is not me chasing after a dude who is not interested. That's not agency. That's desperation. It is not giving them all the power by letting them decide how often they contact me. It is me making the decision that if you don't contact me enough, you don't get access to me. And if you do contact me enough, I then still get to decide whether or not I want to hang out with you. I still have all the agency, but I'm not chasing anymore. That's why I hated Bumble. I'm not sending the first message. You send the first message. I'm the one with actually more options here. I'm the one who doesn't need men. Men need us. But even in this dating world, I don't want a man who needs me. I want a man who wa I wanted a man who wanted me, but who can take care of his damn self, who has a full life without me. Because otherwise, I'm going to get end up with another vampire, Peter Pan, hobo schedule, who literally rides on my coattails until I'm so exhausted that I collapse and um, die of an autoimmune disease. So I'm telling you, it is so empowering to do nothing. You want it? You come and get it. You want it? You impress me. You want this? You want access to this heart and this mind and this soul and this love? You actually have to do something because you're not entitled to this. And I've got like a hundred messages in Tinder and all these things. I mean, most of them are crap and I would never spend time with them. I can get laid anytime I want. And my life is so full and so amazing. And I love being with myself and my friends. And I love doing writing and being creative. I love my life so much that if you are competing with 
how much I love my life. So yeah, I will sit back here and relax and go to dance class and go write and go hang out with my friends and go travel and do all this amazing stuff. And it's not me waiting for him to call. It's me living my best life. And if this dude wants access to that life, if he ever wants a shot at sharing that life with me, he better get busy and show me that he wants it and show me that he has his own life. Because again, I'm not, I'm not interested in a Ken who is dead inside and doesn't know himself and have given just a little bit of power will literally ruin my whole world. Not interested in that. And I think most of us are actually in this world are dealing with a bunch of Kens. The sexiest thing that a man can do is show me that he's truly confident, not cocky or insecure, that he knows how to have some self-control in terms of even if he's like, yeah, she's the one, not scaring the crap out of me by love bombing me or being like, oh my God, I love you on the third date, not breadcrumbing me and, you know, using that to control me and keep me on edge because I'm not into that. You don't get access to me. A confident man who can take care of himself, who loves himself enough to think, dang, she's awesome. I want to be a part of that. I want to add to her life. Her and I will do great things together, right? Because what I did not want, which is what most, I, I'm telling you, and feel free to share in the comments, most super independent women who have their own money and who have never had a man take care of them, our biggest problem is lazy, entitled men who don't want to do anything and are perfectly fine letting us kill ourselves trying to do everything. And haven't we seen by now, that's not working out too well for us. The least this man can do is make it clear that he's interested in me without also scaring the crap out of me. And if he doesn't know that, that balance yet, then he's probably not ready to date or isn't mature enough. I'm telling y'all, match their energy, but stop being the person to initiate stuff. It doesn't work out for you. And it shows that you are desperate. And desperate women get exploited because we got a whole system of patriarchy that's still in, in operation to make sure that we don't have the power and the money and all of the laws on our side. And until we do, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> make them do it. And you got to eat my... If you want access to this. <laughs>